hearing the words amputation the first time was a moment that I don't think I could ever describe it in words, but it was, okay, what are you going to do? Because you don't know anyone who's ever lost a limb, let alone all four. And then what will your life be like? And what will the people in your life have to do? And then immediately I went to, will I ever be able to be self-sufficient? Or will I always need someone? And then who will that someone be? A true saint is someone, despite adversity, despite all odds, is someone who never gives up hope. And this week's true saint is Merlena Adams. Merlena Adams, the principal of St. Rose Elementary School in St. Charles Parish, is back at work after losing her hands and her legs below the knees due to infections from kidney stones. For two years, Merlena endured numerous surgeries and nearly lost her life. Over time, she learned to walk on prosthetic legs and use her prosthetic hands. Merlena hopes that her story can help motivate others who are struggling through difficult times. It's just perseverance and the kids see it. The kids know it and even in their writings, they've talked about how if Miss Adams can persevere through what she's been through, I know the problems that I have won't be that bad. I went to the doctor and she sent me for a CT scan and she said, uh, it sounds like a kidney stone because from your symptoms and it actually was and it was a rather large stone. When I arrived at the fourth hospital by ambulance, that was the last thing I remember until a week later because they put me into a medically induced coma as I was teetering between life and death. I made that decision on the first day, you know, once they called me and told me she was sick, that I wasn't gonna leave her side, you know, and I was just gonna keep praying and keep praying until she, you know, God uh, answered our prayer and pulled out of it. I remember it as vividly as I remember anything. He said, I am not going anywhere. We're gonna do this together. My right hand um, was removed in July of 08, and then the left hand in September of 08. So I actually went through four surgeries. I thought about my kids at school and how much I'd always preach about perseverance, never giving up, never saying I can't, and thinking, okay, you've talked the talk, but now you're going to have to walk the walk. Melana Adams is a true educator. She stands for all educators. She has a passion for teaching. Nothing is impossible with Ms. Adams. She takes the I am out of impossible and makes it possible. It just makes us all jump on that same wagon and ride with her because we come here to touch the lives of children. I began to get prosthetics in September and began to start the walking and the therapy. And from then on, my goal was in 09, which would be two years after, Good. the illness, I was going to walk back into my school and return as principal. And everybody thought I was crazy. August 2009, I did exactly what I set out to do, which was return to a school with 650 students, over 100 employees, and become the principal again. Here's another question. It's a demanding job. It, 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 it is unbelievable the tasks that we're expected to do every day and the amount of responsibility I have when I look into the faces of 650 kids and know I'm ultimately the most responsible person in this building that they get what they need every day. She said that uh when we did get married, that she wanted to walk down the aisle. She was not going down the aisle to get married in a wheelchair. So at this point, uh, she's back up, she's working, she's back walking, doing whatever she wants to do. So we are getting ready to uh, get planned the wedding. So uh, it's coming up on uh, very, uh, soon. very soon. Very soon. Well, 2011. Yes. So. 
we're going to make a lot of people uh, very happy on that day because <laughs> everybody's been mm. part of our story as far as friends, family, and, and my yes. co-workers, and everybody asks every day, so when are you marrying him? You know, <laughs> you can't let him go. I'm like, he's not going anywhere. We're going to work on that. It's definitely yes. in our plan. He adores her, and she is extremely blessed to have him because I, I, I really don't know how she would have survived this without him, even with us. I was left here for a reason. My life has a purpose. I'm going to live life on purpose now and make sure that I am a model to others of pushing forward, doing what you need to do, and making sure that you make every moment, every day count. Mm -hmm.